28th, on the 10th, on the night of 10th, 28th, makes phone call to Travis Chase to about assassination of her. And particularly of six million dollars, I deal with that just now. 28th, night of the 28th, the 10th, see Travis Chase's statement on evidence. He goes to, 28th, he goes to thing. 29th, he goes to the police. Makes the, he goes to the office of the president, then the home affairs, then he came to the CIA headquarters. 29th, that is necessary. They have done. When it goes, when it goes, when it went to the CIA headquarters, the amount said it was seven, seven million. And that is significant. I'm asking the commission to be insightful. Seven million to the police. Both Travis Chase and Leon Baldew spoke about six million on the 26th. According to Leon Baldew, it was six million on the Six million. According to Travis Chase himself, and by the statement on the 28th, the conversation in that case was 26. Well, Leon Baldew and Travis Chase could not have been colluding with that figure. They could never have been colluding with that figure. They are two, they are separate and apart. But it was six. But on the 29th, it became seven. Seven million. And on the interview on the 30th, because Gilad had made the allegation of six million, of seven, sorry, seven million in a statement to the police, it now has become seven million. He's tying in with the statement on the, the gift to the police on the 29th, he's tying in and in the interview on the 30th. Which is on the 28th, he had said six, and on the 26th, he had said six to Bali. That's why I'm asking this commission to be very insightful. Glad was really up the public mischief. What we were the personal private vendors against the Dakar. All in all, all in all, what is corroborated in this, what is corroborated is not Gerard's story, but Khan's denial. It was corroborated over and over again, Khan's denial. Balio, Walker, Anthony. And plus, uh, this is a part of the inherent weaknesses in this, in this story. Motive, recent malfunction, failed to report to Inspector uh, Superintendent that which it's inherently, what were inherent weaknesses. This is extrinsic weaknesses now. Those were intrinsic weaknesses. Now, I'll deal with the issue of firearm return. Now, there's absolutely no allegation that any of the cans use their, their license firearm in any improper or criminal way. No evidence about that. Of course, while under the arrest of the CID on the 29th, it was the duty of the police to relieve can of their firearm license, for, sorry, of their firearms, and they did just that. Similarly, on the release of the station bail, it was the duty to return those firearm license, and police did just that. There was no legal basis for the continued retention of those firearms. I wish to point out that they, that is, we, we had talked about the, the offense of disorderly behavior in a police station on, is under 136B of the Summary Offenses Act, Chapter 802. And that offense is punishable with a fine of not less than 10,000, not more than 28,000. Purely punishable. Not less than 10, not more than 28,000. <coughs> there were the police had the grand bail. They had the grand bail. So that's such a thing. Yeah. You can't lack a man for uh, refuse bail when the offense doesn't get to you. No. Leon Baldio is not known today. Can Leon Baldio came 
presented himself to the police because he saw him on TV. And because he knows himself that Gilad had made him this offer. He said, look, I don't know what this man has told me about this thing. I have me a $50,000. I don't know what the man tell the police. So he runs to the police in order to clear his name, in advance to clear his name. That is the advantageous position. No collusion at all with Khan. He doesn't know Khan. Oh, except by, by going to the, the snackers and purchase according to him. And I'm, I want to emphasize that this plot, this original plan or scheme involved getting somebody like Baldio to go first and make the allegation, and then I come back. Gilad comes in back and maybe has to conform because the police would have to go to Gilad for information. But this didn't work. It didn't work. And things arose on the 27th. And Gilad had to make Feel his plan and move. So he goes to the OP. He doesn't go to the police station and he will send the ambassador to do. He goes to the OP. Office of the President. You see, between 26 and 27, he couldn't procure anybody else to go and, and get and make such a report. But they had refused. They, they wasn't time. He couldn't get any other person, so he had to do it himself. And go said, not to the station, as he was telling Bali, but to the OP. I'm trying to pray, see. Now, but on board the witnesses, Luana Walker, it's Gilad's people. More, more associates of Gilad, Joanna Walker, uh, Anthony. Associates of Gilad, nothing to do with Khan. My submission is that the investigators at the CID went where the investigations took them. They took no sides. And I'm saying not only was the grant of bail to these kind of reasonable and proper, having regard to the contents of the statement taken on contents of the statement taken on the 29th, but it could not and did not prejudice any subsequent investigation. Now, let us deal with this. If Nizam Khan had been kept in, in custody for the 72 hours, his detention would have come to an end on the 1st of, of April 2017. The man from himself, they always keep him and put him in custody. His detention would have come to an end on the 1st of April, 2017, when his release would have been mandatory. You have to release after 72 hours. Thereafter, the only thing the police could have done was to monitor him and or, or keep him under surveillance. I'm saying, and he served the sentence. <coughs> There was nothing to say that this was not done since Special Bank was calling on the very 29th. That is the area. Both Inspector Narayan and Khan said so. He said that he was interviewed by ASP uh, Saar or Shah or somebody like that. And there was every reason to believe that Khan was in fact kept in under surveillance because of the involvement of ASP Special Bank. Now, Baldo gave a statement on the 7th of April. 2017. That would be six days after Khan would have been released had he been kept in the center to our detention. Six days after. Uh, Lloyd, Lloyd Adams Khan Anthony gave a statement on the 25th of April 2017. April 2017. And Luan Walker gave her a statement on the 19th of July 2017. A 72 hour in conversation, Khan could not have prevented those persons coming forward and providing statements. Even if he was detained to send those, those persons would have still have come forward. None of those persons are associates of Khan. They are all associates of Gilad. And now turn to the authority of the Assistant Commissioner Silad Prasad. Assistant Commissioner Police. Sorry, Commissioner Police. 
and to 1102 of the Constitution provides this. If, an officer, if the office of the Commission of Police is vacant or the holder thereof is unable to perform his function, the functions of his office, a person may be appointed to act in that office. That's Article 210. If it is vacant or the holder is unable to perform the functions of his office. It is submitted that since in March, April, or thereafter, the office of the Commissioner was not vacant and Sila Pasal was not disabled from performing the functions of Commissioner. Therefore, Deputy Commissioner Ragnarain could not have been appointed to act in that office. Legally, he could not have been appointed. And that is why we were troubling ourselves about this way. He could not have been appointed. I myself was troubling myself about this. I get to tell you the truth. Now, the, the power and authority of, of commission at all times remain vested in Sila Al Pasal. Article 228, 228.2 provides clarity. If you look at 228.2, that article provides clarity. It says, it reads as follows Whereby this constitution, a power is conferred upon any person or authority to make any appointment to any public office. A person may be appointed to that office, notwithstanding, a person may be appointed to that office. Not to sign some other person may be holding that office. When that person is on leave, absence of leave, pending the relinquishment of that office. Pending the relinquishment. Relinquishment of that office. And then two or more persons are holding the same office. By reason of